I think... I remember this. Huh? You again? Oh, hey, mouthy brat kid. So, I see you're acquainted. How did you get here? I'm the great L-U-K-A Luca. I didn't go through all these ridiculous ordeals to just randomly show up in opportune places, you know. See? Risking everything for nothing. Told you I knew someone just like that. So... What are you after this time? Oh, loads of stuff. For instance... I found this really great place for seafood. I do an amazing sardine meunier. But more importantly, I'm investigating an old Noah Toon story. Known as... The Legend of Aesir. The Legend of Aesir? This fairy tale is... Actually, this might have something to do with you, Bayonetta. You don't say. The legend of Aesir. A legend from the dawn of time. Nobody knows where the world came from. A struggle caused the trinity of realities to be split into three realms. Light, darkness, and chaos. Obviously, our world was the one born from chaos. The three worlds all needed rulers. Most of all, ours. And the one that ruled the chaos became known as Aesir. Aesir spent the first eternity quietly looking upon the Earth from his holy mountain. Where we only see reality and make it match our rules of the world, Aesir saw through reality. And those visions became our world. These observations became Aesir's power. Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. However, Aesir pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will. So the power he wielded was split into two equal halves and entrusted each to humanity's instincts. The right eye of light and the left eye of darkness. By dividing the power of the eyes of Aesir, humans gained free will. They could now choose. With control of the eyes of the world, the eyes that determine destiny, humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their own identities. Man is but a reed, the most feeble thing in nature, but now we were thinking reeds, and we took our first big step towards grand prosperity. The inheritors of the eyes of Aesir had been granted the power of creation. The eyes? That's right. The eyes of the world. Controlled by a Lumen Sage and Umbra Witch. The eyes of the world? However, the influence of the right eye, the one controlled by the Sages, left this world forever with the death of the final sage. <gasps> do the natural disasters that are occurring right now have something to do with the loss of the right eye? And what will happen to our planet? Those are the truths I'm after. And the truth will always be the truth. So if the truth is here, then so am I. And I think the key to that truth is that mountain, Thimbleventer. How do you find these things? I've done my homework. 
Would you expect anything less from the marvelous, magnificent, magnanimous Luca? Bayonetta, get on! All right, we're back. And now we got the main uh now we got the main store uh the main reason why we we have we're doing what we have to be doing now. Yes, apparently uh uh Lord Aesir, uh the god of chaos has basically given the humans the ability of free will by separating the powers of the eyes of the world. So right now uh since we're in Umbra, which we actually control the uh the left eye, which is the left eye of darkness. So, but we still don't know the disappearance of the right eye controlled by the sages, so... Long story short, that's why we're being hunted down. So it makes sense, obviously, when you think about it. But now we have a lot of mook enemies we have to fucking deal with, and we have this, uh, we're on, a, we're on top of a giant rolling ball. Which is cool, I love these aesthetics where we're just moving in one, uh, we're moving in different directions. It's so cool. And plus, since we have our, our Kafka ability, it's so kick-ass to spam it while we're in mid-air. Yeah, like I said, you know, I hate those arrow shots from above. I hate those kind of enemies that pull that kind of bullshit, but now we're properly equipped this time. So now we don't, it won't be such a hassle. You know, you know, I said to myself, you know, I like to do a run where I can beat the entire game without upgrading any of my weapons. You know, I can you beat the entire game just as default, as default Bayonetta with no other abilities, just love is blue, that's it. No other abilities. I think that'd be a hell of a challenge on any mode. You know, maybe easy mode you might have a shot. And oh, son of a bitch. Now we get a abandoned uh, ship, apparently. No, I mean, we could have made it, but Loki just fucking panicked. And now he's gonna pay for it for his troubles now. Alright, now he's got to get to the top. And this is one of the rare instances where we're doing a mission where it doesn't involve Bayonetta. So right here we have full control of Loki right here. We can use his uh, psychic abilities if we want. But we also have to dodge this fucking mook enemy that's chasing us. Yeah, so just be careful right here. Yeah, I mean, you could do that if you want, just to get yourself a little bit of distance, but the, uh, Mook, but the giant Mook Titan will catch up to you, so try to be strategic with your patterns. You can't just dodge all the time. It's useful using your ability here and there when it calls for it. Alright, we got a pure platinum medal. Yeah, yeah, man, it's the only time you're gonna get a medal just for doing no combat. I mean, I guess using your psychic Psychic uh, wave attack counts as combat, but I mean legitimate one-on-one -on -one combat, not just spamming one attack just to avoid being hit. All right, and here comes Bayonetta to the rescue, as always. All right, now we took out the, now we take out that fire enemy that fucking cost all this. Now we gotta take out two fucking titans. Yep, so it's basically a handicap match right here. Yeah, they both have, and they both have separate health bars, so, you know, pick your poison on who you want to take out first. So close. Yeah, so just be careful you're not cut up in the middle, because you can get hit by one one or both their attacks off screen. So if you're focused on one, one uh, titan enemy, make sure that you have the other one on screen too, not off screen. Because if, you, if you're fighting the ice titan... You get hit with a fire attack off screen because you off screen the the bigger uh, fire titan, or vice versa. So just be careful. So close. Yeah. So yeah, fire and ice you got to deal with. Not too difficult. Looks intimidating. And ironically, we do have their powers uh, with the undane weapon. So yeah. So we do have their weaknesses, but I just like you know using my default weapons here and there. 
I'll use Kafka, thank you. It's, it's a lot more satisfying firing poisonous darts at these enemies. It really is. Alright. Almost dead. Come on, let's take out this fucker once and for all so we can take out the other one a lot easier. Alright, we go. One down, one to go. Come on, don't make it fucking hard on me. See, almost done. Just gonna get like maybe five more shots. Man, these fuckers don't quit. Get them at close range. There we go. Alright, take a gold medal to go, and I'll see you on the next part. Right. Let's go. Let's.